हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एग्जाम पॉइंट नोट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर चैप्टर टू ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ बायोलॉजी दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स एट फर्स्ट लेट्स सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्लावर्स फ्लावर इज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ऑर्नामेंटल एस्थेटिक ऑर्नामेंट रिलीजियस एंड कल्चरल वैल्यूज it is used as a symbol for conveying human feelings such as love affection happiness grief mourning etc morphological and embryological marvels to biologists site for sexual reproduction horticulture let's see what is horticulture horticulture is the cultivation of flowering and flowers and their plants let's see the structure of flower stigma first is stigma this is the stigma it is the style ovary together we call them pistil or carpel this is the anther it is a filament and together we call it stamen it is a pistil it is the ovule it is a sepal it is the stalk it is the receptacle group of sepal is called as carlex group of petal is called as corolla endosium is the male part that is stamen gynosium is the female part that is carpel or pistil carlex is used for photosynthesis and corolla is for attraction events that occurs in sexual reproduction in angiosperm the events are pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization let's see what comes under it pre fertilization microsporogenesis occurs pollen grain development pollination megasporogenesis embryo sac development fertilization double fertilization cynogamy and triple fusion occur in fertilization and in post fertilization pec endosperm zygote embryo ovule seed and ovary some important lines of ncert let's see this much before the actual flower is seen on a plant the decision that the plant is going to flower is has been taken in plants hormonal and structural changes occur and it makes a flower it have as we have discussed previously endosium is the male reproductive structure stamen is the male sex organ gynosium is the male reproductive structure and carpel is the female sex organ see what is stamen stamen it is a male sex organ microsporophyll the number and strength of stamen are variable in flowers of different species you can see here it is the proximal end is the filament is the distal anther proximal end and distal end anther is called the proximal end and petal or thalamus is the sorry proximal end is a question the distal at the end of the stamen is attached to thalamus petal anther or a and b answer is anther next anther anther is a lobe theca and microsporogium typical anther is bilobed each lobed have two theca 
of an a longitudinal groove runs lengthwise separating the theca anther four sided tetragonal structure consisting of four microspongia located at the corners two in each lobe this is the anther it is a pollen grain pollen sac these are the pollen sac and these are the lines of dicens it is a filament or stalk it is a whole diagram of microspongia in transverse section a typical microspongium appear near near circular outline microspongium have three layer layers epidermis endothelium middle layer and last is septum it enter epidermis is the one cell thick single layer endosium is the one cell thick single layer middle layer is 1 plus 3 cell thick septum is the single cell thick layer you can see here in studies it deeply from the video it is the epidermis outer it is the endosium is the inner septum spongenous tissue microspongium mother cell and microscope microscope spore functions epidermis protective endosium dicent to enter middle layer septum function of septum is nourishment to development pollen grains secretory pollen kit spore of pollen in microsporogenesis anther microspongium sporogenesis cell microscope mother cell all cells of sporogenesis tissue are capable of becoming microscope mother cell you can see here now question is how many mitotic division are required to produce 100 mics microspore so four microscope is 1 into meiosis to 100 is 1 by 4 into 100 is 24 25 the correct answer is option number b 25 next topic is pollen grains it is explained here microscope then pollen grains germ pore exin intin mitosis occur unequally then generative cell here unequal mitosis 4c here male gametes form pollen grain 3 cell 2 into male gametes and vc here some of the important mcqs are there you can watch here now pollen grains ncert diagram is given here learn this it, it is asked in the exams first back vacuolation of occurs vacuoles are formed nucleus is formed asymmetrical spindle one cell pollen grain vegetative cell form gen this is the vegetative cell and this is the generative cell it is two cell pollen grain is form diagram of pollen grain it is the reserved food tnv exin germ pore next pore pollen its deposition pattern species specific helps in classification polymer of carotenoid most resistant substance is polystation number of that could be degrades polyrens is reported highly resistant high temperature resistant to strong alkali pollen grain is divided into sporodium and cells cells are of vegetative cell tube cell and generative cell generative cell produces oogametes 
फीमेल गैमेट स्प्रिंडल गैमेट शेप एंड फ्लोर्स इन साइटोप्लाज्मा सब इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर देयर यू कैन सी हेयर नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्पाइनोडियम साइनोडियम सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पॉल एंड ग्रेन न्यूट्रिशन रिच फूड सप्लीमेंट वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज रेसिंग हॉर्सेज एथलीट्स सीरप टैबलेट्स पोलन एली पार्थेनियम अमारेथियम बाय पोलन ग्रेन्स मैनी एनेस्फाइलस प्लांट रेस्पिरेटरी डिसऑर्डर्स अस्थमा एंड ब्रोंकाइट्स आर कॉल्ड ना पोलन वेरिएबिलिटी टाइम पीरियड इन विच द रिटेन्स इट्स एबिलिटी टू जर्मिनेट It depends on species, temperature, humidity. Thirty minute rice, wheat cereals. Several months, solanacea, rosacea, leguminosa, kinosium, carpal number one or less than one. One is monocarpillary and more than one is multicarpillary. Now carpal. कार्पल इज अ फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन स्पिस्टिल मेगा स्पोरोफिल प्लासेंटा लॉक्यूक्यूल ओव्यूल ओवेरी स्टाइल स्टिग्मा यू कैन सी द डायग्राम हेयर कार्पल हैज ओवेरी ओवेरी हैज चैम्बर चैम्बर हैज लॉक्यूल मोर देन और इक्वल टू वन लॉक्यूल हैज प्लासेंटा प्लासेंटा हैज ओव्यूल diagrams you can study deeply with your sir questions are embryo sac is seven celled eight cell nucleated more than one answer is seven cell few more questions are there read it by your sir embryo sac development monosporic microspore mother cell meiosis done mitosis done most common पॉलीगोमियम टाइप बायोस्कोरिक इट इज ऑफ बायोस्कोरिक रेट्रोस्कोरिक हाउ मेनी माइटोटिक डिविजन आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टेट्रोस्कोरिक एम्ब्रियो सेल आंसर इज वन पॉलिनेशन पॉलिनेशन इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलिन ग्रेन फ्रॉम वन एंथर टू स्टिग्मा It is a diagram of stamen. It is a diagram of carpel. You can see here transfer of pollen grains occurs like this. Types of pollination. There are three types of pollination: autogamy, zygogamy, allogamy. Autogamy is self pollination. Pollination occurs in one flower. Zygogamy genetically self pollination, functionally cross -poly pollination. Allogamy is function cross pollination. It occurs between two different species. Options questions are which one of the following is genetically self pollination but functionally cross pollination? Autogamy, zygogamy, allogamy. All answer is zygogamy. Which one of the following requires pollinating agents? Autogamy, zygogamy, allogamy. More than one. More than one is answer because here answer is zygogamy and allogamy. Let's study deeply about them. Autogamy. Pollination with three same flower is called autogamy. Genetically, functionally, self pollination. No requirement of pollinating agents. Advantages are ensure cell formation cheaper. Disadvantages are homozygosity in in breeding depression. Fitness decreases. Yield decreases. Variation decreases. Conditions for autogamy. Why sexual flower? Autogam, homogamy, anther stigmas at same level, cleistogamy, closed flower. Flower should be closed. Now, zygogamy, pollination between two flowers of same plant require pollinating agent, genetically self pollination, functionally closed pollination, interbreeding depression. Zygogamy, pollinating between two flower or different plants of same species. Both genetically and functionally cross pollination. 
रिक्वायर्स पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स मोस्ट कॉमन एडवांस्ड इंक्रीजेस वेरिएशन इंक्रीजेस हेट्रोजाइगोसिटी एनी टाइप ऑफ सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन होमोजाइगोसिटी इंक्रीजेस एंड इन ब्रीडिंग डिप्रेशन क्लेस्टोगेमी इज ऑकर्स इन क्लोज फ्लावर क्लेस्मोगेमी ओपन फ्लावर few mcqs are also given read it by yourself now now next is pollinating agents are of two type biotic and abiotic biotic is the living and non biotic is the uh, abiotic is the non living biotic agents are insects such as bee mostly bees ए बायोटिक आर विंड वॉटर विंड इज मोर कॉमन एंड वॉटर इज लेस लीस्ट कॉमन पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स बाई विंड आर कॉल्ड एमोफिली एंड बाई वॉटर हाइड्रोफिली जूफिली इज एनिमल्स बायोटिक पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स स्मॉलर एनिमल्स सच एज बीज बटरफ्लाई फ्लाईज वेब्स मोथ एंड इन बर्ड्स एक्सेट्रा एंड लार्जर एनिमल्स प्रीमेट्स आर्बोरियल रोडेंट्स इवन रेप्टाइल्स दीज आर द पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स एंड द पॉलिनेशन डन बाय देम सो एंड्स टूडे नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विल बी अपलोडेड सून थैंक यू